Let me tell you about reality benders. First off, we like to call them Bixby's. Why? 1. In case somebody accidentally says something in front of a civilian, they don't tip them off. 2. If you're talking to a reality bender, they might not know all they can do, and you don't want to give them any ideas. These f***ers are dangerous. You see one? You don't engage unless you absolutely have to. If you do have to, be polite. Try to think happy thoughts. Maybe you'll have a good day. Probably not. Whenever you can, let the experts deal with them. We don't try containing them most of the time. Yeah, foundation don't usually work that way, but we like to have a world to live in. So on this point, we usually agree with the GOC. Better they're gone. Okay, so you're fighting somebody who can do pretty much anything. How do you stop them? Well, first off, they can't do anything they ain't thought of. Like, they can maybe all read minds, but if they ain't thought about doing it, don't know they can, then they're not gonna try it. Remember, they're not smarter than you. They may be able to do things different, might know things you don't, but they're not smarter. Second, they gotta concentrate. We had one asshole. He decided he was gonna know about everybody watching him. F***er killed 20 of us before we just had a bunch of us rush him. Couldn't get all of us, you know. Which kind of Bixby's are worst? Depends how you mean. For my money, it's a kid Bixby. Almost always ends with a bullet. Sniper can usually take him out pretty easy, but actually killing him? You show me a guy who just shot a three-year-old. I show you somebody with some damage upstairs. There are worse things you'll do for the foundation, but not a lot. Now, harder to take down. Usually somebody around late teens, early 20s. Much younger, they don't know enough to do as much harm. Older than that, they don't got much flexibility in their thinking to try anything real out there. Late teens, early 20s, they're gonna experiment. They're gonna try anything that springs to mind. They're not gonna be slow and careful in figuring out what they can do. We get one of them, we pull out the big guns. Now, it don't always end with us killing them. Sometimes, especially older ones, we can talk with them a little. Convince them the world ain't worth it. Get them to move on somewhere else. A lot of them will even do it on their own. So far, ain't one of them ever come back. No one knows just why. Maybe this world really is that much of a shithole. Or maybe something's eaten them. I don't know. Anyway, now you see what I mean when I say a giant turtle ain't no big deal. Even if it is spitting fire at us. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.